Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. Today we are discussing NTA UGC NET 2023 Paper 2 Economics. In this wonderful session, we deal with Phillips Curve Analysis from Macroeconomics and this topic we deal with PYQs. So, the previous year questions will give you an idea about the questions and also the way of delivering the answers. Okay? And without wasting our time, we go, go to our first question. Our first question about the features of A.W. Phillips curve or the inflation unemployment trade off relation. So, the another name for Phillips curve is inflation unemployment trade off relation. And here gives the some options that t tells about the feature of the Phillips curve. And in this question, we want to answer not a feature of A.W. Phillips inflation unemployment trade of relation. And the options are nonlinear inverse relationship between unemployment rate and rate of exchange in wage rate. And also this loop in the anti-clockwise around the Phillips curve, wage inflation unemployment relationship. And Phillips curve shift with expected rate of inflation shift. So, in these options, there are one option that is not a feature of Phillips curve. First option, there is inverse relationship between unemployment rate and the rate of exchange in wage rate. So, the Phillips curve says about the relationship between unemployment and the wage rate and also the unemployment or the inflation rate. So, the Phillips curve in 8061 to 9057, the data gives a inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation. So, the short run curve use a clockwise direction but in the second option that gives a anti-clockwise. So, that's a wrong option. Okay. For explanation, this is the Phillips curve and from this we can get the clockwise direction from this point to this point. So, there is a clockwise direction in the Phillips curve, not an anti-clockwise relation. Okay. So, this is the wrong option and the wage inflation unemployment relationship is predictable. That's right. And also the Phillips curve shift when inflation rate shift. Clear? The next question, wage inflation unemployment trade-off is based on what? Or the Phillips curve based on what? Here gives the short-run Phillips curve. Whenever we got a Phillips curve question, that will almost be short-run. And the, any specification related to this, that related to long-run Phillips curve. And there are many changes between short run and long run Phillips curve. One of the changes is that that's a question related to the short run Phillips curve trade off is based on options given static expectation, adaptive expectation, extrapolative expectation, rational expectation. Here, the short run Phillips curve based on static expectation. So the answer is static. And the long run Phillips curve based on what? That is adaptive expectation. So, this is the long run Phillips curve and this is the short run Phillips curve trade off based on. Okay. And the static exp uh, expectation is assumes the agents will expect economic variables that is to equal the values from the prior period. Okay, so the static expectation assumes the economic variables that equals a value from the prior period. For example, with static expectation, an expected inflation rate for the future period just equals the last period's inflation rate. Whether we discuss about the current period inflation, that will assumes or it will equals the prior period or the last period inflation clear that is the static expectation okay so short run phillips curve based on static expectation 
short run Phillips curve for static expectation, long run for adaptive expectation. Clear? Next question. Which is not a characteristic feature of Phillips curve? Again, the characteristic feature of Phillips curve is asked. That is, price expectation are adaptive. Unemployment rate when money wage stabilizers is 5.5%. Price expectation are static. Then, there is a loop around Phillips curve. So, here the characteristic feature is given. But we want to answer not a characteristic feature. And the answer is price expectation are adaptive. We asked that uh, when the Phillips curve is given without any specification, that is short run Phillips curve. So here they give the short run Phillips curve. The short run Phillips curve based on static expectation. So this is the wrong answer. Okay, adaptive on long run Phillips curve. And the unemployment rate when money wage stabilizers is 5.5%. This is a factual event or the factual point. It's a factual about the Phillips curve. So here the static is right and also the 5.5% change in money wage or in the unemployment rate is Right, and also the loop around the Phillips curve, that's also true. This is the factual event. When uh, in years 61 through 1969 and from 1976 to 1978, the natural rate of unemployment is 5.5. So here the Phillips curve says about the money wage stabilization from 5.5 percentage. Okay. And before we move into the next question, we can see what Global Online offering for you. We provide complete syllabus, video lectures, notes, mock tests and last 10 years of PYQs. And you can get from our app from Play Store. And after installing our app, you can enroll the required course. And any doubts regarding to this, please contact with the given WhatsApp number and get Paper 1 complete course free with Paper 2. Okay. Then the question related with match the following. The list one given the premises and the list two given the laws of theories about list one. So first price expectation are static. Then price expectation are adaptive. People do not make systematic errors and deviation of output from natural right inversely related to deviation of unemployment right from this natural level. And the given list is Occam's law, Phillips curve, natural rate of unemployment, rational expectation hypothesis. So the first one is price expectation are static. We know when the price expectation are static, that is short run Phillips curve. And the adaptive means the long run Phillips curve. So we can first of all see the answer. That is 2341. 2341. So, first, static means the Phillips curve, of course, and the adaptive means the natural rate of unemployment or the Nehru. You can get that is the Nehru from what the long run Phillips curve. So, the adaptive expectation of price is about what long run Phillips curve or the Nairu and then the systematic errors systematic errors about the rational expectation okay rational expectation and the deviation of output from natural rate that is inversely related to the unemployment that all also deviate from the natural level that is Occam's law so 2, 3, 4, 1 is the right one. And the explanation about Occam's law. Occam's law says about the percentage change in output that associated with the changes in the output gap and over time. So here the potential output has also been studied in relation with Occam's law. What is the potential output? Potential output is the output that we want to produce. And also in Occam's law, 
the percentage change of output related with the output gap and the output gap says about the relationship an empirically observed relationship between unemployment and losses in a country's production so we want to get the ockens law named after arthur melvin ockton who proposed the relationship in 1961 So from 1961 onwards the theory of Ockens law is given or we introduced and later the gap version or the output gap states about every 1 percentage increase in unemployment in a country that will make a country's gdp roughly an additional 2 percentage lower than the potential gdp so there is unemployment to increase to 1 percentage that will make the potential gdp of the country to lower 2 percentage what is the potential gdp that the gdp we want to get from the production so therefore a deviation of output from natural rate natural rate means the potential rate is inversely related to the deviation of unemployment from natural level so whenever the unemployment is increased or it make a change deviate it will of course affect the output okay and the rational expectation hypothesis that also we discussed it here the rational expectation that says about the systematic errors So here, people make the best possible forecast for economic variables that using all the available information. So in place, people understand the macroeconomic variables such as price level, level of un uh, employment, unemployment, and aggregate output. So here, the rational expectation says about people do not make systematic errors or the systematic errors that given by government that will. aware about the people that become aware about the people so here the fact that the government cannot fool the people with systematic errors or they are known well known about the available information in the economy about the macroeconomic variables clear so here rational expectation means the people's awareness about the macroeconomic variable or it simply says about they do not make systematic errors okay and we move to our next question consider the following statement about philips curve here also gives the inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment economic behavior is a function of nominal returns and economic behavior is a function of real returns so here gives all the above are true only one and two are true only two is true only three is true and one of the fact that we can know the trade off between inflation and rate of unemployment is called philips curve but in the second part of the question says about of these statement which are true from the monetarist point of view so we want to answer from the monetarist point of view or the monetarist perspective here the monetarist perspective says about the long run philips curve not the short run so the long run philips curve want to get or the philips curve in the point of view of monetarist is long run okay from short run this statement is correct but the long run the inflation unemployment trade off is wrong so this the statement is wrong here and again the there are many uh, mainly three perspective about the short run and long run differentiation or the difference between these two is mainly three first of all in short run economic behavior is nominal so here from short run short run and this is the long run and in short run philips curve this is nominal here nominal returns is taken and again here 
that's taken real returns. So here the real returns will taken, but here short run is nominal. Nominal means the current or uh, sorry the previous year period. We only stick on the previous year period or the period that we taken uh, before or the uh, period in the first case. That's also continuously we take in all years. In case of uh, population census, we take 2011 as the period. And in again in 2022 and also in 2023, we take the data of 2011. But in case of long run Phillips curve, that is real or with respect to the current period. Okay. And again, the next difference in short run, we take the perspective of demand. Or we only say about the demand perspective. But in long run, we take the supply side. Okay, supply side. So, this is another difference. And again, here long run because of the monetarist point of view. Okay, but the first case, inflation and unemployment is wrong. Also, the nominal return is wrong. And the other is real. This is correct. So, only the three is true. Get it? That is, inflation and unemployment trade-off is works in case of short run. But in case of long run, it is not the trade-off between inflation and unemployment. And also, the nominal returns is works in short run. Here, long run, that is real. And also, in case of Real returns, the long run works. Okay. So, according to the monetarist point of view, the Phillips curve in long run is real returns or the economic behavior is a function of real returns. Clear. Next question. Current concept of natural rate of unemployment. Here, the natural rate of unemployment means what? Or the correct statement about natural rate here gives frictional structurally unemployed or the mix of frictional unemployment and structural unemployment and frictional and cyclical frictional uh, frictional and cyclical mix and third structurally and cyclically and last frictional cyclical structurally so what about the natural rate of unemployment says and the answer is frictional and structural. So, the mix of frictional and structural unemployment is called natural rate of unemployment. And what is the frictional and structural unemployment? Oh, frictional un unemployment means the unemployment that happen in the economy from transition from one job to another job. Or the people dynamically changing their job here, that causes frictional unemployment or it's also called turnover unemployment or search unemployment. Okay, then structural unemployment. It means the supplied labor is not matched with the demanded labor or that's a mismatch between supply and demand of labor. Then the employers will, will not get any Employers or the mismatch between the both demand and supply of labors will cause structural unemployment. Okay, so the structural and structural unemployment together form or together in an economy that will make a natural rate of unemployment. Get it? And this question is for you. The Phillips curve sets up a relation between what? Or the Phillips curve is a relation between taxation and inflation, inflation and unemployment, money supply and aggregate demand, or price and cost of production. So, what, what's the answer? The Phillips curve sets up a relation between what? And the answer to this question, you will please type in the comment box. And any queries related to this question, please ask in the comment box, okay? So, we wind up this session and we will meet in the next video. Thank you.